I have become uncomfortable with silence. I've become accustomed to background noise and numbing my brain with multiple things at once. It makes me feel good in the moment, but long term, it's left me feeling like I can't focus on one thing ever. Insert my silent morning routine. Stripping away all of the distractions and noise I typically have and just being with myself. And Charlie, of course. Being present. Taking time to embrace the silence and come back into myself. Charlie's morning routine is just as important as mine, so I wanted to thank Walmart for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I recently did a little restock of some of Charlie's stuff, and I got her a new food also from Walmart. I got her the Blue Buffalo Sensitive Skin and Stomach Food because I just noticed her skin has been a little bit more sensitive lately. Luckily, I found all this at Walmart. It was so easy to order, came super quick and obviously affordable. I also just picked up some more litter for her from Walmart and I got a couple of new things for her. So we have some cat ear wipes and then I also got her these tooth wipes. So in addition to filling her food bowl and cleaning her litter box in the morning, I want to start incorporating brushing her teeth with these wipes. They make it so much easier than doing it with a toothbrush. I just can never get her to do that. So these are just so much easier and they're so good for her to keep her teeth clean. You know the drill. You can click the links in the description to shop all the things that I got and also make sure to check out Walmart for all of your pet needs. Thank you again, Walmart, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Typically during quote unquote mindless tasks like these, taking a shower, making my coffee, cleaning up, making my bed, I always have something playing in my ears. If you've watched me do a morning routine before, you know that. I get so insanely bored just doing things in silence, so having something else playing even makes me more excited and inclined to do these tasks because at least I'm entertaining myself in the process. But I found that once I get into the groove of having background noise, I find it hard to cut that off when it's time to be productive and actually focus on one thing at a time. This is why silence is so important. I want to set myself up to be able to easily get right to work and eliminate the possibility of distraction. There's a time and a place for everything. But I've started to realize that for me, the morning needs to be a time for quiet. My issue is that I get so distracted during my day that it makes it so difficult for me to get things done. And I feel like because I always have some type of like background noise happening when I'm doing anything. Oh, sorry, Char, I moved this for you. Because I have some type of background noise going on basically when I'm doing anything, I've almost trained my brain. It feels like to become uncomfortable with silence and with not having something else playing that distracts me. Like I have been not focusing on one thing at a time for so long that now my brain is having 
a hard time focusing on anything at all. And I think that a big reason for that is how reliant and dependent I've become on having background noise. I feel like there's a few reasons why this is, why I even feel like I need to have background noise in the first place. Number one, I don't want to focus on one thing at a time because then I get bored. If I'm not being stimulated in multiple different ways at a time, I get bored, which is not good. And I, again, think that that has come from just the fact that there's always so much going on and there's rarely moments of quiet and just, you know. Also, I live alone, so having background noise, having a podcast on or a YouTube video playing makes me feel like I have company, but in turn, it has proven to become so distracting for me that it makes it difficult for me to focus on only one thing at a time. So pretty much what I aim to do when I have this type of morning is strip all of that away and try to reteach my brain that it is okay to not have a million things going on at once and to try to help myself focus better and get more done because when I have a million things going on in the background, I struggle to get things done because I'm focusing on other stuff so I can't focus all of my attention on what needs to be completed which is a problem. There's just a lot of problems going on. So I'm trying to fix them. And this came about for me when I listened to Emma Chamber. My hair looks so whack right now. I don't even know, I just washed it. I'm just gonna put my glasses on my head and call it a day. This all came about for me when I listened to Emma Chamberlain's podcast episode about a dopamine detox and how she did kind of a, her version of a dopamine detox for a week and just so much of what she said in that resonated with me and made me feel like this could be something I could try. So obviously, and she said this also in her episode, you can't completely detox yourself from dopamine because it's something that your brain produces. So to completely detox is not possible. And also there's no scientific backing that a dopamine detox is beneficial for whatever, but she kind of took the concept and created her own rules for it to try to help her with her focus and motivation and creative thinking and all of that. And she said in her episode that it really did help. And she noticed her mind kind of being freed up a little bit because the space that was being taken up by other things like podcasts, music, TV, videos, t social media, your phone basically. She stripped all that away and then she was just left with her thoughts and she was able to just get so much more done because she didn't have a million other things in the background to be focusing on other than the things she needed to focus on. So I set out a few rules for my quiet morning, my dopamine detox light, I don't know, morning routine. And they are as follows. Number one, no social media, period. If there's something that I have to post for some reason in the morning, I'm allowed to post it, but I'm not allowed to scroll because that is a problem in and of itself. My addiction to social media, I'm preaching to the choir, probably so many people feel this way, nothing new, but yeah, no social media, number one. Number two, I probably should've done this one first, but whatever. Number two, when I wake up, no scrolling on my phone. This also, I guess, goes to social media, but no sitting on my phone for any reason when I first wake up. I don't want the first thing I do when I open my eyes in the morning to just go straight to my phone because I feel like that's just not aligning with what I, my goal for this. Number three, no listening to podcasts or music or having a YouTube video on when I'm doing my morning tasks. Now, this is the hardest part for me because I'm so used to listening to a podcast in the morning. It's part of my morning routine or watching a YouTube video while I'm doing my other things. But I want to just have quiet time. I want to have peace time just with me. And that's not to say like podcasts and YouTube videos bring me so much peace, but I want to be able to bring myself that peace. So I want to have quiet time and just to be with my thoughts so I can feel comfortable doing that again. And also when I'm freeing up that mental space that's paying attention to something else, when I take that away and I free that space up for myself, maybe I'll have 
creative thoughts or I'll have ideas or, you know, they're just things that I may not have come to if I had something else distracting my brain. Also kind of going along with that, I guess, no TV, but I don't usually watch TV in the morning. That's usually a nighttime thing for me. But essentially all of those things that I just listed, which was only three, those are in effect for the entire morning and also until I get all of the work done that I need to do for the day. I cannot let myself sit on my phone. I can't let myself get distracted by a podcast. I can't let myself sit and watch YouTube videos in the middle of when I have to do stuff because it is so hard for me then to get back into the mindset of being productive when I'm having leisure time and letting myself get carried away and get distracted in the middle of when I have things to do. So this way, I kind of save those things as a reward for myself after I've finished what I need to do. And I've done this before, this concept of kind of detoxing from these things that give me a dopamine rush and also distract my brain. I did a day where I didn't let myself have any of those things until I finished all my work and I was so productive and I felt so good by the end of my work day because I had gotten everything that I needed to get done, done. Maybe I was motivated to do it because I knew I couldn't distract myself with something else so I was like, I might as well do this right now. Or I was so bored from not having anything else going on, any background noise that I was like, well, I might as well. I, whatever it is, it helped. So this is something that I'm really trying to implement in my daily routine, daily life, because being addicted to your phone and addicted to social media and addicted to having distractions shut up at all times is so bad for me. And it just makes me feel terrible. If I want it to change, I have to do something. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So this is me trying to do that. Thank you for listening to my explanation of what even is going on right now. I am now gonna get into editing some things, one of which has to be on my phone because I'm editing something short form. The key is gonna be to not let myself go to any of my other social media apps because I literally have muscle memory at this point of when I go on my phone, I go to one app, then I go to the next, then I go to the next. I have to sit here on my phone and I'm gonna edit this video and just do that and not let myself scroll. And then when I'm done with that, I can move on to the rest of my stuff. And again, not letting myself scroll or listen to anything else. I just have to be alone with my thoughts. And it's so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable. Every fiber of my being wants to turn something on just to drown out the quiet. When I'm doing something like this, where I don't necessarily need to think that hard, like I'm just gonna cut up video clips. This is a time where I would always, and it's like, I feel it in my body right now that I want to turn on a YouTube video so bad. But I'm not, I'm not, because I have to break this. It's so not good. I am so quick to complain about how hard it is for me to stay focused, but I'm not even giving myself a fighting chance between all the distractions I'm inserting. My phone is a huge one, obviously, especially since I have to have my sound on in case an important notification or door buzz comes through. I found though that putting my phone out of my direct view actually really helps to curb my instinct to go on it whenever I start to feel bored or not stimulated enough. And when I say enough, I mean too much. Out of sight, out of mind is a real thing. I also don't aim to deprive myself of things that make me happy with this. I just need to draw a boundary. I deserve to be happy and I deserve to consume things that make me happy, but I also deserve to give my brain a chance to cultivate thoughts and pay attention to the important things that are right in front of me. I want this video to be a reminder to you that silence is your friend. Sometimes you have to be alone with just your thoughts. I'm someone who always runs away from that and in some instances that's fine but not when my thoughts need to be productive. Embrace the silence and let your brain be quote unquote bored. You never know what ideas may come to you when you give your mind a chance to breathe.